All right, guys, so I just connected the battery. Um, here we go. I got it tucked right here. Positive, negative. Um, I got to register my Honda S300 right now and uh, try to set a calibration to try and get started this weekend. Um, it's been three years that I've had this project here in the garage and it's coming to an end as far as really major any, any changes are built really it's uh it's done man I mean I painted it myself on the engine bay and try to freshen up everything as much as I can original paint job it's uh, faded, uh, but attention to detail. I mean, this is all OEM hardware, all OEM zinc hardware, um, sourced from a few Hondas. Uh, the only thing that's not OEM that I actually ordered from the now popular Resto Tuner is um, control arm, upper control arm nuts um shock tower um coil over uh strut uh nuts that i ordered from resto tuner and the acorn um acorn uh spark plug cover uh nuts um, i ordered those from resto tuner and this right here this sticker other than that everything else every other sink bolt is OEM and even underneath uh, these are for the uh, bumper horn um, for the t-bar and the list goes on and on and on uh, if I go underneath uh, OEM hardware new from Honda as much as I can I have bags and bags boxes of OEM hardware um but yeah this is a this is a exterior I got the Rota RB2s um Toyo Proxies TR1s I've had these rims since I first bought my first EF uh about eight years ago um I had the EF9 corner lights they did not fit I got rid of those and I traded for an MPFI swap setup for EF I have outside in the driveway, uh, which I have that done. A uh, new windshield going on next week for this car because it is cracked right here. So I've had that for three years now. Um, the cow, that's all been refreshed, just dusty. That's the um, Hush Performance cow uh, kit. Uh, new windshield wipers. Oh, man, the list goes on and on. Skunk 2, uh, radiator, uh, dual core. Uh, it's a B16A2 with a, a 92-93 cable GSR tranny with the LSD. Um, no name headers. Unfortunately, I don't have a nameplate on them and... Got them with the swap. Uh, redid the valve cover. Uh, distributor. I'm figuring out my uh, intake situation here. So this is what I have. This is the intake arm out of a EF9 SIR B16 JDM uh, EF. Uh, radium fuel rail. OEM fuel pressure regulator. Didn't find a reason to up. Uh, upgrade that it's going to intake manifold 70 mil throttle body like I said uh, OEM air intake box innovative motor mounts stock fan gates coolant hoses like I said as much OEM hardware as possible
as much OEM hardware as possible. Everywhere. And anywhere. So these two are OEM, but I'm gonna get them switched out um, because I want them to have uh, this little sun or moon. Um, what else? Oh, uh, JB Tune, um, Fuel, JB Tune, uh, Fuel, um, Fuel Filter, uh, Tuck, here's my son coming in hot, what's up Izzy? What's up? How you doing? Good. Good? Alright. Yeah, so, um, as I was saying, I got the, uh, J JB Tune, uh, fuel filter uh, tuck, uh, RC440 injectors, um, what else, 70mm skunk tube, throttle body, um, still got the heater all tucked, I mean I still got the heater there, heater valve, heater cores all there, working, hooked up, AC obviously it was ripped out, no AC. Windshield wiper motor was refurbished. Um, this is actually OEM replacement hardware. Unfortunately, they don't make the gold zinc anymore on any OEM hardware anymore. Uh, all OEM hardware is now this um, uh, this kind of zinc, uh, this zinc, uh, platinum zinc, or galvanized, I guess you would call it. But yeah, um, you got that. And that's pretty much it. Um, it has a stage two uh, action clutch, uh, brand new flywheel as well. Um, I mean, everything's freaking brand new. This thing was rebuilt from, you know, the ground up. Um, I have a Skunk 2 uh, Pro ST coilovers, Skunk 2 upper control arms. Like I said, as much OEM Honda hardware as possible anywhere I could um, get rich steel stainless steel braided lines I do have actually the EX knuckles with the big brakes the 10.3 brakes I believe um, and you can see that just from the caliper um, those are EBC brakes good ridge lines right there EBC rotors uh, in the front uh, in the back, I have a 91 Integra rear disc conversion with power stop, um, ceramic coated rotors, and ceramic brake pads. Um, everybody talks about camber and sticking out and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. People don't like it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, honestly, I am satisfied with my... Uh, well, my setup as far as the 91 Integra rear disc conversion, uh, don't really have too much to complain about. Uh, in the back, same thing, uh, Skunk 2 Pro STs, uh, rear lower controls are ASRs, uh, stock toe, stock rear camber for now. Um, what else do I have? I have um, rear shock tower, strap bar. Obviously, you saw the front one. Um, no name. I got it with another car that I took the EX knuckles from and sold. Actually, that one had a uh, have a video of that that I could throw on here. Um, it had a, a D16 Z6 on a OBD0 chipped ECU. It had two step. Launch control, um, VTEC, the whole shebang. Um, but honestly, it had a lot of back tags, and I just bought it for the EX Knuckles. And I sold it for a pretty cool flip, um, plus parts. Um, actually, I ended up getting in that cop. I went to LA for it, and I ended up getting two Watanabe SSRs um, with the car. Uh, so actually, that was just a come up. Um, so I'll take it. So right now, actually, I'm getting ready to go inside. Um, and sorry, this video is taking a while, but hey, I'm just putting it out there. 
a lot to cover. Um, everything was torqued to spec. Everything was marked. Um, as you can see, everything has a yellow uh, paint mark uh, on all of the bolts nuts um, that were torqued to spec. Uh, other than anything on the head work, um, nothing on the head or rail cover was marked. Uh, but all the undercarriage uh, was marked as far as um, torque specs. Uh, let me see if I can get underneath here. Even on the steering rack was brand new. You can't really tell, I guess, but you know, it's a steering rack bolt, brand new from Honda OEM. But there's a torque marks there if you see them. Not sure. T bar, you can't really tell, I guess. T bar has marks. Just everything was torqued to spec. Uh, just know that I took my time. Uh, and then now, actually, I'm gonna go inside. Oh, I have, um, forgot to mention since I did the, since I do have the 91 EX big brakes. And the 91 um, Integra DA rear disc conversion. I did upgrade uh, brake booster and master cylinder. I have a 91, 91 Integra um, brake booster. Um, like I said, oh, more OEM hardware. Uh, zinc. Hardware, gold zinc hardware, which is hard to come by. Um, brake booster from a DA um, fifteen sixteen master cylinder for a DA as well. Uh, so that's DA setup. Ninety one EX ten point three big brakes. Ninety one Integra rear disc conversion. Um, and this is a Honda DX, Civic DX. So, didn't come with four injectors. Unfortunately, not the SI. Sorry for the camera angle, I suck. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a vlogger. Just a, just a hardworking guy. Just a hardworking family man. The Lexus CF sedans. Um, Honda Civic. DX. Um, like I said, as much new as I could buy for this car, I did. Um, I mean, the, the, I'll show you bags. If it, this gets any views and people watch it. I'll show you. I have bags and bags and bags of Honda. People call it the red label boxes or red label bags, whatever. Um, I'll even show you as, as far as it goes. As even the even these uh, bumper license plate uh, lights lenses bulbs all that's new ASR rear lower controls with new OEM hardware um, has a wall borrow 255 that I dropped and all of that has new hardware as well The only thing missing on this car right now is I need an exhaust system. Uh, that's what I really need. I need an exhaust system, and I uh, I am about to plug into Honda. Actually, register my Honda. Uh, picked it up on a trade uh, about two years ago, and finally it's time to register it and get it ready uh, to get it get it tuned and uh, basically get this car up and going uh, I did have it up on the ground I mean I did have it on the ground for the longest time I jacked it up uh, two days ago when I finished doing an MPFI swap on the other sedan that thing's not running right now I got a diagnosed that it's been having a starting issue since I bought it haven't been able to get it to start looks like a fuel issue so probably gonna do a replacement on a fuel pump that's another EF sedan. We'll talk about this one. Um, so yeah, that's the fuel pump that I'm gonna put on sedan outside. These are some lights that I uh, actually paint. I uh, sanded down. 
water sanded, clear coated. I opened up the inside, painted the outside black and left the foil tan reflector. This one's really good, so I left that intact. Did the same one with this one. I was moving the bumper, I dropped it, and I cracked it. Idiot. Same thing, black, left the uh, reflector chrome intact, because it looks good. And these are going in this sedan. These are going in this sedan for sure. Um, I have, let's see, I've been hoarding. I guess the thing to do is hoard an EF parts, so I got an EF sedan bumper, EF, uh, what's the DA Integra lip uh, that I obviously made to fit. Uh, people have been doing that for 20 years now, so nothing new. Um, here I got my track uh, tires uh, wheel set up. These are um, 205 R14s uh, Panasport. Uh, for racing purposes and you see these are the proxies Toyo R triple eights spare hydraulic uh, GSR trans hydraulic mounts head to my car all right let's uh, let's go inside just giving you a little tour I guess real fast on the breakdown I have pictures, which I'll probably make a collage. I'll have my daughter make a collage of all these pictures of three years worth of progress um, on building this car. And then make a YouTube collage video. I have the uh, rear GSR uh, seats. 